Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am here to set up my travel diamond painting kit with you guys. Now, I spend a lot of time away from home in the summer. I've mentioned this a couple times this week, but my boyfriend's parents have a camp up north in the Adirondacks. And pretty much from now until the end of September, we will be up there almost every weekend. I stay home a couple, I, I stay home more often than Steven does because I like to have sleepovers with my nieces. Uh, I like to be around for things with them. So he's pretty much gone every week. I'm gone most weekends, but um, <clears throat> I like to pack a diamond painting travel kit. Now, these are the things that go into my travel kit that are not exclusive to the kit that I'm working on. So I travel with the diamond painting that I'm working on, which currently is Cabin Porch. I will be taking that one away with me um, for the long weekend. We both took Friday off and we have Monday for the holiday. So we're leaving Thursday night. So I'll be up there for Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and part of Monday, um, where I will probably want to be diamond painting because I'm trying to finish this kit before the end of May. Um, so what I'm going to show you are the things that will stay in my toolkit. Now, I do bring everything home with me each weekend just because I do travel with the project I'm currently working on, but um, I like to just have general items in my travel box and then before we leave on Thursday night or Friday night whatever happens whatever day it happens to be I will grab the accessories and the kit and pack them along with it. So what we're going to do today is pack the items that are going to stay in this container all summer. So when I'm going up to camp I grab this quickly pack the rest of my accessories to go with the kit and then I will be ready to go. So I have this container here from a pack of other containers. <laughs> so the little, I can't remember if this is from a set of rounds or from the large Tic Tac containers. I'm not sure, um, but I have repurposed this container as my travel toolbox. So what I like to do is I like to have pretty much everything I am going to need minus my current pen, my current tray, my minder, etc. So what we have here is a collection of things that I have accumulated. I did this video last year as well, um, but I've kind of tweaked it just a bit. Um, there are a couple of things that I'm going to have to pull out each week that I return, but I'm hoping to purchase an additional item. For example, I have a drill grinder, but I only have one. So I need to purchase a second one so I can just have one that I leave in this toolkit. But for now, we're just gonna take the one that I normally use. So I have a bunch of these little bags that come with small shop orders that I'm hoping to utilize. And let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have, which my niece actually used this winter for modeling clay, so I'm seeing little pieces of clay on it, but I have this small little roller, which I will clean before we leave, but I got this from New Craft Day, I think. I always roll my section as I finish it, um, and I thought this one was just a really good size. It fits really nicely in my toolkit. Um, it's cheap. It's not perfect, but it does the job. And then when I get home, I can actually like do a full roll with my heavy duty one. But this one works for now. I also have a box cutter and a pair of scissors. These ones are cute. They're just the paw prints are the actual scissor part. Um, these stay in here as well. And then I do have a pair of tweezers. These are just, they happen to be from Dreamer Designs. The scissors and the box cutter were black, so I went for a black pair of tweezers. I also have this really cheap little brush. Um, this may actually also have come from New Craft Day, I can't remember, but this is enough. If I have a bunch of drill residue, I can just, you know, kind of sweep over it. Or if something gets in the, the glue, this is just good to have. Uh, I did use it a few times last year. It's just one of those, you never know, you might need that. 
I also have an extra one of these drill straighteners. I don't often use a drill straightener, but it seems like when you need one, you don't have one. So I do have that that stays in there. I have a little pack of, or not a little pack, a thin um, set of washi. I like to have this in my toolkit for um, placers, multi-placers or single placers that don't fit in the pen. So we have that which let me pack a few extra multi-placers while we're at it. So I have one of these little organza bags and this is my one of my things for extra tips. So what I like to do is I like to have a couple of extra, we'll take, we'll take a few, we'll take four extra single placers. I'm going to take a seven placer. What's this? a 10 placer and I'll take a couple of fours as well. And I'm also gonna take one of these plastic, you guys can't see what I'm doing, one of these plastic tips um, in case I have some ABs that are being finicky. These plastic ones are really good for AB drills. And then I'll put this little washi tape in here. So here is my set of extra tips. These will just stay in here each weekend. I also have some pink wax. Now I will bring the wax that I am currently using. So I think for this kit, I have a pretty placer wax cube and then I'm using putty from Enablers Outpost. I will bring those with me, but in the event that something goes awry and I need some regular wax, I'll have it. So I have one of the Diamond Art Club caddies and then I just found this in my little drawer system that I have so I will just put those in there better to be safe than sorry because especially up north there's no craft stores that I can rush to to grab some something that would be beneficial so I'm gonna go for that I also have an a, an extra scent of Randis Crafty Corner not an extra scent a copy scent a copycat <laughs> no that's not right either I have a copy of a set why can't whatever. I already have this scent in my regular wax and putty stash. Um, I didn't realize I had two of this one. This one's never been used. So I'm just going to pop this one in here just as an extra putty to have access to shall I need it. Please just forget that whatever I just tried to say happened because I don't know what that was. Here is the drill grinder that I will bring. I am currently using this on my project. This is from Bella Arte Nicole. I only have one so when I pack up the rest of my accessories, I will throw this in as well. But the next time I place an order, I don't know, does anybody else make make drill grinders? I'll have to take a peek on Etsy. Um, I would like to have an extra one just to leave in here so I don't have to worry about forgetting it because there's nothing worse than drills that are not cooperating. Um, as far as pens, I will bring my regular pen that I'm working on my current kit with, but you never know what's going to happen with drill pens. So I have some of these clay ones from Cosmic Pens that I don't use, and um, they just kind of sit around. So I figured I should bring them with me. Why not? It's not a bad thing to have extra things, as we've established. Um... So I have this one, which is just pretty um, bright colors. And then I also have this one, which is also really pretty. Unfortunately, this shop has closed down, so you can't get these anymore. Um, but rather than them just sit around, I am going to put them in my toolkit. And if something happens to my drill pen, or if somebody up there wants to try diamond painting, then I will have some extra pens available. And I also want to bring a few clips. Now I have these sewing clips that I use occasionally with kits and I am going to grab a couple of those. Do I have a small? Yes. Let's do just a few because I will be bringing a light pad, which I will show you guys in a second. Um, I'm just going to grab a handful, put them, I don't, really reach for these but you never know so i'm just gonna bring a little baggies worth of those 
And I also have a dryer sheet here, which I'm going to cut up and put into one of these baggies as well, because like with the drill grinder, nothing is worse. New thing? Why did I say it like that? I'm on my third video of the day and I feel like my brain is like, you've done enough. Can you stop, please? Why don't you just go fold the laundry instead? <laughs> so there's nothing worse than having staticky drills, drills that are stuck together. So I did want to make sure I had some dryer sheets that were cut up. So it's just easy to grab them and put them in containers if I need to. So let's do that quickly. And I don't do anything special with dryer sheets. I just chop them up. They don't need to look pretty. I saw somebody on Etsy that's actually selling pre-cut squares of dryer sheets. And I was like, oh, is that something that people would buy? Would you buy pre-cut, perfectly squared pieces of dryer sheets for your diamond paintings? Let me know. Because maybe that person's onto something. They come in like a little square caddy and everything. All right, cut this in half. We're almost done. Do, 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 do. Isn't this so exciting? <laughs> Riveting content today. All right, so we have that. And then I just have another one of these little organza bags. And I'm just gonna pop these in here. And then I can just pull them out if I need them. Perfect. Close that up. And we have some dryer sheets. Love that. All right, I think I'm done with these. Um, and that will save room for my other accessories. So I will just grab like my pen, my tritus full of drills so I can just put my pen in there, my wax. I'll probably put the washi tape that I'm currently using, um, my cover minder, and that stuff will just throw in here and then this will be ready to go. So there's that. Now, in terms of other things that I will be bringing, I do have a light pad, like I mentioned. And it is this one. This one is massive, but I work on a lot of large kits. Now, I do not generally use a light pad. However, when I'm traveling or diamond painting somewhere else, you never really know what the lighting situation is going to be. Now, I travel to the same place right so they have it's basically a house on the river and we call it camp because it's camp but I have a nice table I can sit at but sometimes the lighting is just different I'm used to a certain type of lighting so I do like to have the option to have a um light pad shall I need one so I will be bringing this as well as the charging cord obviously and a what are they called um portable battery charger thing now this light board is um um i just lost my train of thought <laughs> i just got a text message and i was reading it um this one is rechargeable so it does not need to be plugged in as you're using it so i will just bring one of those portable chargers and if it needs to be plugged in while i'm working on it it will be and I'm also going to bring my little mushroom light from Target. Now, I shared this light in my recent kitten chat where I showed you how I set up for large projects. This is a battery operated light and you can change the temperature and the brightness. And then um, there are regular AA batteries in it and you can also use a cord. So I, again, the battery operated, not battery operated, the portable charger. 
um, will be used for this as well, but it does just have double A's in it, which work great. Now, when I diamond paint, I do not like um, direct overhead lighting. I like more like diffused side lighting. Um, I find the overhead lighting to just be too harsh and too glare, like too glary for me. It kind of hinders being able to see the symbols. So bringing my own sideways, you know, option for lighting is just best for me. I am honestly contemplating picking up a couple more of these and putting one on my desk at work and then just leaving one at camp because this light is amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend if you are looking for a portable light or something like that, I really enjoy that one. Now, in terms of transporting the canvas itself, I do have two options. Um, this first one will not work for this project because the project I'm taking is massive, but it'll definitely work for some later in the summer when I feel like taking something smaller. This is actually a paintbrush tube and it's adjustable. I got this on Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link for you guys. Just as a reminder, my Amazon links are not affiliate. Um, so this is adjustable. You just untwist it. You can put your canvas in, put the top back on and then you just twist it down to whatever size you need. Again, a great option for smaller kits, but for this project, I will need my large artist tube. So I'll be bringing this one from Craftably. Um, they do still sell these on their website. You used to get them with all of your paintings. They do not do that anymore, but this one adjusts to, I'm maybe gonna be larger than that actually. opened it so it adjusts to it looks like there so my current diamond painting will definitely fit in there um these are great if you do not have one of these I would definitely recommend picking them up I I thoroughly enjoy them I am very lucky that I have a I have a few. I have a couple in each color, which is great. And I use these quite a bit when we travel. So that is how I will be transporting my diamond painting. Now for my drills, it's a little different this time around because I am using my six tier stamp storage with the large Tic Tac containers. Obviously I cannot transport that. I could, but I won't and I do not want to. Um, so I actually saved the containers that the drills storage containers came in themselves. So what I'll do is I will just pull the drills over and I'll just fill these up and I will work from these when we travel. Um, they are very secure. Um, so I know that they won't bang around too much. I will need two cause there are a lot of colors. Um, but yeah, that's what I will do with my drills. And then I have my Craftably bag, which I will put everything in. I got this. I don't know if they still have these. I got this on sale maybe about a year ago. And it's just a really cute, it says Craftably diamond painting. This is like glitter. And everything will fit right in here. It's a really good size. It's messy with other drills from before. Um, it's a really good size. Everything will fit in here nicely. And then I'll just carry um, the canvas separately. But the drill pad fits in here. The drill pad? The light pad fits in here. Um, I don't know what I'll do with the light because I did not take that with me last year. But it'll be fine. So, yeah. That is my travel diamond painting setup. Um everything I need to bring with me, obviously with the exception of the accessories that are currently in use, but this is everything that I will need. I like having it all just ready to go. Gives me a chance to make sure I have everything that I want. And that is that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. 
Um, this is just an update from uh, a video that I made last year, but it went over quite well. I had some really good comments from you guys. So let me know if you think I'm forgetting anything. I will still be home at the time that this video is posted. So if you think I missed anything, let me know in the comments and I will add it in really quickly before we leave. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, we do have a video coming out on Friday, which will be part two of reorganizing my special drills. It'll be my round ABs. So if you're interested in that, make sure you come back on Friday and I will see you guys then. Bye.